Greetings, globelings and flat earthers. Today, we have a special for you, of course. A moment here. Yes, surprise. <laughs> okay, so these are hand packed, just the pickles, the water vinegar salt and spices oh i'm sure they're going to be amazing changing it up a little bit today now okay so you see off in the distance there we have the sun okay and you know globlings are having a hard time understanding what an elevation angle is i guess they don't understand that if you're this way if the equator's like this let's say the earth isn't tilted and when you go up like that 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 distance there raises you and they don't get it there's like no literature in the globe religion that really discusses that because it debunks them see the globe religion debunks itself it's a fraud it's a fake there's not one scientific fact in that whole entire scam period okay so let's uh let's get the globe okay so yeah we're gonna do a real life situation today we're gonna raise up and you're gonna watch that thing go down okay so now here's your ball okay the devil ball <laughs> and uh so you see it's like this okay tilted so let's not tilt it right now okay and you're standing right there okay and the Sun is hitting you head-on okay you see the pen that's the beam of light okay Globers can't kind of even understand that and I've been talking about it in my videos they're like uh, uh, what, what, what are you talking about like they can't understand okay the Sun folks is coming this way okay pretty easy um, so you're standing right there okay and the tilt is away from the sun now let's just tilt it so you were down here that's called the ecliptic where the sun hits the globe head on okay now you're at 66.6 .6 degrees so how can the equator even be like oh, the hottest okay when it's not even directly at the sun stupid anyways so you've raised okay you were here now you're up there Okay, so you have a problem. You're coming out of the dark into the light and you're high. That means the sun is going to be down. Okay, down. The sun goes down. You go up, the sun goes down. Not hard to figure out, is it? So, and we're going to demonstrate that. And then when you're towards the sun, let's just, well, just use the ball. Okay, and then the sun's coming this way. When you come out of the dark, okay, um, hold on. <laughs> okay, you're basically coming out of dark. Let's say, yeah, dark, because the sun's here. And you're going towards the light. Okay, when you get down here, where this nipple is, okay, You've gone down. You have gone down. That means the sun is going to appear up. Up. At noon, the sun is going to appear up. Okay? Hope you globelings can understand that. I mean, I think a, a four-year-old, three-year-old maybe could even understand that. Okay. So now I'm even going to draw it because I know you still don't get it. So let's put that down. We're going to draw a little bit here. Okay. So. There's the equator. Okay. Without the tilt. Okay. That's without the tilt. Without the tilt. Now we're going to tilt it. Be careful. We're going to tilt it. Okay. We just tilted it. See? That's the tilt. Now, what's this distance here? Okay. All right. 
You were here, now you're up there. Okay, you get it? All right? That's what the tilt does. So when you're away from the sun, it raises you up. When it's towards the sun, it puts you down. That's it. So I'm going to try those pickles later too. Don't worry, I'm dying to try them. Uh, okay, so I think we did all the preliminaries here. And we'll zoom in on that a little too, you know, just to make sure. But yeah, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to maybe zoom in a little. I'll do it from far too. Then I'm just going to raise the camera. That's it, because that's all you've done here. You've gone up. So we're going to change the elevation because that's what the tilt does. It changes your elevation in res with respect to the sun, okay, with respect even to the middle of the sun. Your elevation has changed. So let's have a look. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's just zoom in a little. Let's get it right in the middle of the screen, see what we can do. Okay, that looks nice, right there. Okay, so let's raise it up. Okay, I've only raised it about three inches off the ground, and I'll put it back down. Yeah, before I was lifting it and moving it a bit forward, because like I'm on some steps here. But this way works better. Okay, so did you see that globe hugger? <laughs> Let's just zoom back. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so I think for the globe links, we're going to do it one more time with the good method where we just lift the camera. That's the easiest. Okay, and we'll see. Watch that sun. It's going to go up. We just have to do it for the one movement because you know when it goes down, the sun is going to appear to go up. So we'll just lift the camera. We're just gonna do the one case where you're tilted away from the sun. Debunks the globe. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Okay, so let's go up. Oh, that sun's going down. So at noon, it's going to be right there. And then it's going to go like that again. Okay, that's it. Video's done. All right, so the rest, we're going to be chilling. Of course, we're going to bring up some more amazing points as usual. Uh, I'll go get the sun, maybe. It's uh, one of those disco balls. <laughs> We might as well. Let's go and show you what it is. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! You can tap on the way I walk. <laughs> there it is. All right, can you hear the Bee Gees playing? Okay, that's it. Utter stupidity that you're, all these balls are floating around and you're on a ball and you're going a thousand times faster than a speeding bullet in five different directions simultaneously and you can't feel a thing. Okay, that's what you believe is a globe hugger. Okay, don't be stupid. All right, done. Okay, so now that we cleared that up, let's uh, talk about one more thing. Okay. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> A ball rolled away. Okay, so. Um, okay, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, this one. Check this out. You know, they believe in the curved water, right? So I'm on, in the comments, you know, and I say, well, you know, because they, they never have anything intelligent to say, except just try to, you know, cut you down or whatever. They look like retards. Um, so I said, yeah, okay, good. Um, so what you're saying then is when the boat 
you know, the globe religion dictates that when the boat disappears, it's gone over a curve of water, right? It disappeared. That means it went over the curve and you're supposed to see that with the naked eye. Um, for sure, we go to the beach, we watch the boat disappear and they say it's over the curve, which means it would be physically impossible for you to zoom it back into view because you can't see through the, that, the water that it's gone over. And yet, how, there's so many videos on YouTube and you can go test it out for yourself. You can zoom the boat back in. Globe debunked right there. That's gotta be your first line of attack to any retard that tries to say anything to you. Say, yeah, okay, well, explain them the story. You think it's going over? How come I can zoom it back in? That would be physically, geometrically just impossible. And yet it happens. And then I had a retard come and reply, oh, I, I, I go on boats all the time. And uh, no, that's not possible. Can you believe it? Yes, this is what happens on YouTube. People say shit like that. Like, no, 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 you can't bring it back. Are you stupid? Of course you can bring it back. You're on a flat earth, man. Water always lies flat. Okay, if you don't think so, just go to the beach and try it. Or look up any of the millions of videos on YouTube that show you that that's what's happening. <laughs> Gee. Is that too hard for you to do? Stupid. Okay, so, so that's that. That's the, and in the court in Georgia, state of Georgia, in court, this freak tried to sue Zen Garcia. I heard three times in a row or something. Um, and he lost every time, okay? Because how you, he tried to say, oh yeah, about the curve. How are you gonna prove something that's not there? You can't. And so he lost in court. The Globe won in court. And I remember when I told uh, my Nassau buddy this. And he goes, oh, that's laughable. That was his exact response. We were doing email. And uh, yeah, till I gave him the link to the actual court documents that you can have emailed to your box. Yeah, it's not so funny anymore. You know, how are you going to prove something that's not there? Okay. That's the only thing we need to tell people. There's no curve, period. And that boat example is all, you don't need lasers or nothing. All you need is that boat example. If the boat disappears and there's a curve, you can't bring it back. Doesn't matter what kind of scope you, all the, the zoom does is just bring the horizon closer. <sighs> and you get retards, they say, oh, well, if the earth was flat, uh, how, how come I can't see France from uh, Africa? Like, stupid. You, you really think you can see that far? Are you, are you a mental case? <sighs> I can't believe how retarded the globe huggers are. They're mental cases, okay? So yeah, I've been putting people in straitjackets again. Just with these simple proofs, they, they lose it. One guy's like, Oh yeah, bring it on the math. Yeah, bring on the math. I'll take you on in any math. So I said, yeah, okay. I got two cases for you. Let's do acceleration and deceleration. And then we're gonna do hoop stress from spinning, the F over two pi. And I said, for the last one there, F over two pi doesn't oppose, is not opposed by your fake force gravity, done. And acceleration, deceleration, I said, you know, if you can't do the math, there's calculators online. You can see if you plug in the globe values, you know, you're accelerating every 12 hours, 21 millimeters, and then decelerating 21 millimeters. And I told them, you try to build one of those rock uh, balancing sculptures with those kind of things going on. You can't do it. Okay, never got back to me so far. <laughs> he did get back once though, before I told him that final thing. Um, he tried to change the subject to gravity. <laughs> I said, you're changing the subject, man. I said, gravity will get debunked with the F over two pi because it doesn't, gravity doesn't oppose F over two pi. It's a contrived uh, ratio. We already did a video on that. We have that at flatearthclassroom.blogspot.com. 
And so that's it. And they run away. Okay, they run away. You, they cannot challenge you when you have these types of arguments at all. Okay, they just have to sit there, get on their straight jacket and suck their thumb and blah, 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 the globe, the globe, I believe in the globe. Okay, yeah. And you know what? I was taking my girl to private uh, tutoring today. It was around just before uh, noon. And she saw a little plane in the sky. And I knew it was this weird diagonal route, their usual uh, north, northwest to southeast. And all of a sudden he started spraying. I was driving and she goes, look, he's spraying. So I looked and yeah, it was like a definite start point, spraying the sky. The reason I say that is I'm just gonna take the camera off and I'm gonna show you right now the sky. Okay, look at that. Okay, and you have to be a stupid, blind, uh, globe-believing, retard, vaccine-popping, uh, fluoride-consuming mental case in a straitjacket not to understand that you're being sprayed by chemtrails. And that's it, no offense, but those are the facts. All it takes to prove it, you have to spend at least a day, all day, Go somewhere and watch the sky and watch what happens from as early in the morning as you can till as you know late at night and watch what goes on. Okay, do this every day for a week and believe me, you'll know you're being sprayed like a cockroach. Okay, like a cockroach. Yeah. Right? So, like a cockroach. You're being sprayed like a cockroach. Yeah, you're paying all your taxes. Say you're a doctor or something and you're working for free. Uh, what is it, a 50% tax bracket or whatever? Maybe 40, you can get some write-offs. Think about that. You're working for free for almost, you know, five months a year, say, even four. You're working for free so they can spray you with chemtrails like a cockroach and so that you can be mind controlled to inject poison into yourself, yeah. Sorry, last time I said it was the Corvella Labs. It's Corvelva. Corvelva in Italy. They fired the whole government. And so, yeah, if you think you're getting real news, you're a mental case, okay? That's how you're being controlled and educated by retards. You know, several, just a few families own all the news. And that all comes from a clearinghouse. So anyways, um, yeah, Corvelva Labs in Italy. That's right. And the shots didn't even, the, the GlaxoSmithKline particularly are the most toxic. And their things always end in RICS, R-I-X. And um, yeah, they didn't have any of the so-called little things you're supposed to develop your antibodies to, none. And they even had unknown substances that the lab couldn't identify. This is like the most high-end technologically a lab could be in the world, okay? It would cost tens of thousands of dollars to analyze a vaccine the way they did it, okay? Yeah, you better believe it. You're a retard if you're believing in the vaccines because it's a package of lies, okay? It's the fluoride, it's the shots, it's the GMO everything the chemtrails the flat earth it's one package okay that's why you have to use your brain okay if you have one all right good 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 so let's just open up those pickles see how good they are i knew it i knew it this is going to be impossible to open you need like a rubber glove but let's just see Yeah, okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. <sighs> Let's take one of these out. Oh, man. 
Not bad, they're hot. But not too hot, but whoo, they're hot. Ah. Smells a little bit swampy in there. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I, I needed these to fix my tummy because of that gross beer I had last time. Whoa. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing food now, I think. <sighs> yeah, lager beer is the best beer. That other shit that I tried. Uh, I don't even want to. You'll see it in the video before this one. My God, that was rude. Okay, that's about it. Cheers, and keep it flat, people. Keep it real, all right? You don't want to be a sucker in this life. All my videos are pure fact. Nothing in my videos can be debunked, not one single thing. And that's what puts the Globers in straight jackets. Whenever they go against me, they end up in a straight jacket. Period. So we've put Polster X, we've put um, what was that? Asian Hippie, and and others and others. Um, this Chris De Valley guy, and uh, and many more to come. You know, I'm going to start keeping track, and I'll make a web page of the people that you know went toe to toe with me, and finally went into a straight jacket. And we'll try to make a page too of others who who wake up. You never know. All right. Talk to you later. Maybe have a little sip. <laughs> All right, and that's the end of the globe.